Hey, what is up you guys? It's me, Love Kare, and today we will be selling all of our comic books just because my mom knew some random old man who was just getting rid of all these comic books in his basement, and my mom just happened to be there, and I happened to be birthed to my mom, and I happened to have a YouTube channel where I do sell things on the internet, and this is where we are, and this is how we all came to be. Because life is just like crazy, and like things happen for a reason, and you really gotta manifest your destiny. Dude. <laughs> Every single week I come here on YouTube and I sell something random on the internet. I go on eBay. I sell the things that I have in my house. I have made videos where I sold my Juicy Couture tracksuits. I have sold old Beanie Babies that my grandmothers gave to me. Like that was my inheritance. My Beanie Babies. And I tried selling them on eBay. Cubby, are you here? Cubby? Cubby? <gasps> is this Cubby? No. No, this is Pecan. Ugh. Pecan or pecan? Comic books are a crazy thing that I've always wanted to get into and I've always actually kind of liked, but I never really fell in love with comic books. Some guy named Rodolf Topfer is actually credited, did you like that accent? Rodolf Topfer. He's actually credited with making the first comic book back in 1827. What? That's a long time ago. Who knows? Maybe some dude actually made one in like 1826 and was doodling it on the toilet, but we'll never know. In the meantime, congrats, Rodolf. Off. You deserve it. I'm so happy for you. I'm proud. I'm, you know, I'm grateful. Yada yada. Now the largest comic book market is actually in Japan. But since I'm based in the United States and a majority of my audience is based in the United States, I thought you guys would like to know that the largest comic book publisher in the United States is Viz Media, followed by DC Comics and freaking Marvel Comics. Now I think we all know, I mean, maybe not all of us, but a lot of us know that comic books can actually be worth something. I mean, people collect comic books, they're limited edition comic books release. There are comic books that are really freaking old that they only made a certain amount of copies. So I might have one of these old comic books. I mean, I have a bunch of these in these like plastic casings. So who knows? Ow, that hurt my nose. Who knows what I can have here? But before we get into what I have right here, I'm going to quickly go on a website to determine what are the most valuable comic books just to get a little low of the land, baby. You want to know the most valuable things. You want to know the market. So this is an article on the 20 most expensive comics in the freaking world. Number one, action comics. I don't think I have that. Three point... Three point... Three point two million... If I had 3.2 million dollars, I don't know what I would, I don't, I really just like would just. Action Comics, CGC, 8.5, 1.5 million. Amazing Fantasy, 1.1 million dollars. None of these are looking familiar to me. Detective Comics, 1 in 75 million. Is that how you say it? 1 in a quarter? I don't even know. Um, okay, so I don't, no, if I none of these are like ringing a bell like I don't think I have the original Batman or the original X-Men But I do have some pretty old stuff. So let's go on eBay and let's check it out. This one is called Captain Carrot I mean What Captain Carrot? Oh and his amazing zoo crew. Okay. Okay back the frick up This one was made like DC Comics at the time. It was about <laughs> 60 cents 60 cents Oh, shit. Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo. Oh, oh, it pops up. It pop. Okay, twenty dollars, five dollars, nine dollars. I mean, I, I'm seeing a trend with the things that I sell on this YouTube channel, which is really freaking pissing me off. Okay, goodbye, Captain Carrots. You're done. You're done. I'm looking for something more than this. The Infinity War. See, this doesn't have a plastic casing, but I'm kind of intrigued because, you know, it's the Infinity War. Am I right, guys? So let's just see. The Infinity War. <gasps> That's it, and it is one dollar. We are one dollar. Wow. Okay, this guy has, like, the whole thing. Okay. One dollar. Goodbye. You're done. Like, mama playing no games anymore. Okay. Two forty nine, five fifty six. Sorry, that means nothing to me. What about you? What about you, Jonah Hex? I have a feeling this one's not gonna be a good one. Jonah Hex, you're worth about $5.99 in my book, Jonah Hex. Bye. The West Coast Avengers. Now, what a freaking image. Comic books have like the craziest images or photos or comics. Ugh. That like I just don't get it like 
I wish I was that kind of girl, but I'm not that kind of girl. Also, can someone make me wiki feet? Like, can you just upload pictures of my feet and make me one? Because I'm jealous of the people that have them. West Coast, November 2nd, $4.74, $4.99, $4. Like, okay, I'm not gonna sell each of these for $4. Will someone just take the whole batch and just give me like 100 bucks or something? You know what I mean? But should I wait for it? Ooh, the amazing Spider-Man. Only the first page though. Only the we were yeah, only the first page though. I don't know what happened to the rest of it, but she's gone. She's a goner. Maybe let's just see how much she would have been worth if I really did have someone like her. <gasps> Wait, that's not it. That's not it. Is that it? <sighs> wait, 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 that's not the exact one, but I'm pissed off that mine's just the cover. Like, what is happening here? Also, I have this amazing Spider-Man, which is not the same one, but let's Google it, and it feels really freaking old. Like, this, oh, this was 12 cents. That means it's old. February 57, what does that mean? I'm, like, scared to touch this. I should put the, I should hang this up on a wall. Dude, let's see how much this is. It's really not even that much, dude. $25, $40, $33.99. See, these are in, like, better condition. Like, of course, like, the one that I have that's, like, oh. The one that I have that's rare is like literally falling apart. Like this one's legit and it, oh, it's so like grainy. Like I just feel dust and stuff on my finger. It's crazy actually. Maybe I don't want to sell this because if this is like actually old and pretty cool and it's the amazing Spider-Man, you best believe I'm gonna keep that. Today we're gonna get, honey, gonna get a new Gucci bag. See, I can't even find this one. So we're over you. Goodbye. So that is it. I did not hit the jackpot tonight, but maybe in the next weeks or so, I'll do another video where I go through all these crazy comic books that some random old man gave me. But anyway, if you like this video, please... If you like this video, please like it, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel because I do post videos every single week here on Love Care. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!